It's the realist. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your guy Realistic and welcome to my tutorial vault. Some of my most classic tutorials over the years out of the vault and re-releasing them. That way y'all can enjoy, get your mixing and mastering skills back up. So if you find any of the information useful, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That way this keeps showing up in your feed and sit back and enjoy the content. So the next parameter that we're gonna talk about is our feedback parameter and it's another really important parameter when it comes to our echoes and this is going to choose how many times the echo actually repeats itself so right now we have it at minimum and so the echo is only going to repeat once so let's go ahead and hit play and check that out see how that only repeats that one time as we increase it it will repeat it more times right so let me go back to zero just repeats once and then let's increase that you don't need Mac for your face. Tell me, need you back at your place. Now, you do want to be careful. You don't want to go full on Max. A lot of times that can create a feedback loop and it can damage your hearing. It can damage your speakers, your system. It could just create a lot of chaos. Just make sure not to get too close to the Max part of it. But again, it can, you can hear how the, we get more repeats out of it. And what you want to set this to is again, it's going to be different per song. It's going to depend on how much space you have, how many repeats are you going. Maybe for a song, you may only want to have just one repeat maybe for the song you'd want to have three or four maybe six again it just really depends on what you're going for so pay attention to the bpm pay attention how much space that you have in between words how slow is the song and how many what's the aesthetic appeal that you're going for how many repeats do you have let's listen to this in the mix here so we can kind of get a general understanding we'll start at zero to the bit you don't need mac for your face Right, and then we'll put in some more repeats because I, I think for this one it might help if there's is a couple repeats because he's got some room here to be able to do that. To the bit, you don't need Mac for your face. Tell me, need you back at your place. We could even increase it a little bit more. To the bit, you don't need Mac for your face. Tell me, need you back at your place. And later on, when we start automating our delays, we'll really be able to get more use out of the feedback because we'll be able to ramp it up a little bit more without it causing so much chaos. But that's how the feedback parameter works. And just, again, use your, your best judgment based on the song, the mood, the BPM, and how much space that you have in your song. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe because it does help the channel grow. When you like a video, it tells YouTube that you liked it and maybe other people will like it as well. And also be sure to check out my online mixing and mastering courses, the art of beat mixing, the art of vocal mixing, and the art of mastering all available now. And if this video was helpful and you're looking for other videos, you can watch a video here, here, and here. All right, until next time, y'all.